up guys, Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another video and today's video is over the Lucky Tackle Box. It's a black box, it's um, the extra large box, the XL box. Um, this is the first one of these I've gotten and so I'm really excited to open it up and see what's inside of it. So let's go ahead and hop into the unbox. Opening up the box, the first bait that I see is this 401 crawl jig. And it's a little bit different. I mean, you guys are looking at it like, what the heck's that? Um, it's flat, which I've never seen anything like that before. Um, I usually see like a football head or archie head, but I guess we'll try that out. Um, I'm guessing you can put a crawl on it, you can put a worm on it, you can put a little bit of everything um, and fish that finessely on the bottom. So that's the first bait. Let's hop into the second. All right, the second bait is a Boyd Ducket Series topwater bait. Um, pretty sick bait. I wish I could use that right now, but the fish are just not wanting to bite that. Um, but I'm gonna go into further more details in a minute. This is a Bagley Rattler, and that is a square bill crankbait. Then I have the Baby Packer Crawl, and that's by Netbait. That's something I can put on the back of a jig head. Or a jig. I have a fish hound lipless crankbait. And then lastly, I have a few more things. The last bait is a Livingston Stickmaster, which is a jerk bait. And then I also have some mustad hooks and some of that smelly fish attractment stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the details of everything. <laughs> jig head and I actually have it paired up with that net bait curl on um, the pack of baby pack of curl and pretty much this is a totally different style jig head than I would normally be throwing um, but you can pretty much throw this on rock you can throw it in brush piles you can throw it anywhere where you're working on the bottom I want to recommend reeling this at the top of the water anywhere where you actually have this thing in contact with the bottom of the water you can throw it um, like I said really great on rocks brush piles points um, docks um, I just don't know how this head's gonna work personally because it's really flat it may get stuck in some rocks and stuff because if you use a football head or you use other types of heads it's gonna be styled for whatever you're fishing the rod that I have this the rod and reel that I have this bait on is an Akuma TCS um, which is a great rod I just started using these I finally mentioned these inside the videos um, they're one of my new sponsors. I actually dropped some of my previous sponsors, so I'm going to be using Akuma now. And um, um, I really, really like their products now, now that I've started using them and um, really enjoy them. So the rod that I'm using is pretty much a heavy power rod, 7 foot to 7 foot 3. Um, you can also use a medium heavy. I really like a medium heavy fast action um, 7 foot rod for pretty much any type of like shaky head crawl jig head those work great as well um, especially for skipping but if you're going to go out deep i'd recommend something a little bit heavy powered um the reel that i'm using is just a seven one to one gear ratio reel and this is um the akuma helios tcs um series reel and the line i'm going to be using is about 15 pound fluorocarbon you can use 12 but I, I like the range around 10 to 15 but for stuff on the bottom i really like 15 um that's pretty much all right guys the second bait i want to be talking about is the livingston lure stick master jerk bait um, and pretty much where would I fish a jerk bait? I'd fish it over brush piles. Um, pretty much in a lot. I really like a jerk bait in wind. You can fish it on points. You can fish it on humps. You can fish it pretty much anywhere. Um, you can fish it on the bank. You can also fish it by docks. A lot of people don't know that, but you can throw this next to docks. And instead of doing the down motion on the jerk bait, you, you're going to start throwing your rod up. And you can work this at the top of the edge of the docks. You can actually catch a lot of fish doing that as well. I should make a video on that. Um, but on a jerk bait, you can either work it slow, you can work it fast. It just you're in control of the bait. So most of the time, I just straight up reel the jerk bait. Um, I don't really jerk it around much at all. It's just straight up reeling it, one solid motion. And every once in a while, I'll twitch it. Um, but then sometimes you'll do a like a 10 second pause in between each three twitches. You know, it just depends on the fish and how finicky they are. 
um, that day. So moving on to the rod and reel combo that I would use for this bait is I'm also using the Akuma um, Helios TCS style reel and I have 12 pound fluorocarbon on here. Um, I just I just prefer 12 pound. You can go 10 pound on a jerk bait, but I, I like 12. Um, and then the rod is a medium power rod. And this one's actually really short. This is a 6.6. Six. And the reason why it's so short is because when you're slapping the end of your rod down at the water, if you're hanging off the boat, you don't want, you know, unless you're seven foot tall, but you don't want your rod just going into the water. So that's why I use that. Um, but any medium power rod, you can work, I mean, medium power, seven foot, that works good as well. It just depends on your height and um, personal preference. Moving on to the Bagley crankbait. Um, it's just a little square build bait, shad color. And this thing's gonna dive around four, three to four foot um, in the water depth. So you're gonna be throwing this thing out the bank. You're gonna be throwing it over grass, um, like grass that's under the water. And you throw it over that, you can throw it on the bank, shallow water. Um, and the rod that I'm gonna be throwing this on is actually another TCS Akuma rod. And this is actually, the rod style, if you guys are looking for it, is a jerkbait slash crankbait rod. Um, and so it has a pretty good bit of tip. This is for like a small crankbait, though. If I was gonna throw like a big, bigger style crankbait, then I wouldn't throw it on this rod. Um, but the line I'm using is 12 pound cigar fluorocarbon. And the reel is also another Helios TCS um, by Akuma. And that's the seven one to one gear ratio reel. Usually on the smaller crankbaits, like some people like to throw their crankbaits on five, one to one gear ratio reels. I like seven one to one just because um, I can control pretty much how fast I want to reel it, how slow I want to reel it, and um, just go overall effectiveness. So um, pretty much this is a medium style rod. You can go a medium style rod from six six all the way up to seven three. Just personal preference. Um, I like something around seven foot for just like a little crankbait. Next bait is the Boyd Ducket series top order bait which I wish I could throw right now it's just a regular shad color um, sexy shad and most of you guys know where to throw a top water you're gonna throw it over grass you're gonna throw it at the bank you can throw it over brush piles I'm from Lanier so most of the time I'm throwing it over brush piles um, but the rod and reel setup that I'm using with this bait is an Akuma TCS rod and there's a lot of different things that you can use with the top water some people like um, a medium heavy or a heavy powered rod, something that's really, really stiff. I like something that's a little lighter, like a medium for my top water. Um, and then, cause when you hook set sideways, it's just gonna have, it's just gonna go right into the fish. I like a lot of tip on my rod when I'm using top water. That's just personal preference. If I'm using bigger ones, yes, I would go with like a stiffer rod. So it's not gonna bend as much, but that's pretty much what I use. The line I'm gonna be using is usually 50 pound braid um anywhere between 30 pound braid 50 pound braid um on a top water and you can also use monofilament which is floating line and you can use 12 pound on that or you can use 15 or 10 pound monofilament just depending on where you're going to be fishing the bait and how big the bait is um, but i personally like braid if i'm going to go for something on top i like braid it just floats it doesn't get old and it lasts really the long. last bait in the box is a fish hound rattle trap this is a red colored one, which when I throw rattle traps, this is usually the only color I throw. I'm gonna be throwing this in shallow water, and most of the time I'm in shallow water lakes, it's gonna be muddy water, and not the clearest water. So I really like the red color um, on this bait, but the rod I'm gonna be using is pretty much the same as I would with my square bill. It's an Akuma TCS, um, the jerk bait slash crankbait rod, and um, this is a seven foot medium rod, so it's gonna have a lot of tip. And I also like to throw this on a seven one to one gear ratio reel. This is the Helios TCS like the others. And um, the line I like to use is 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon. That's just personal preference. Um, you can also go to like a seven three um, medium rod, which is great as well. And that will work just as fine, just all on personal preference. Last two things in the box is the bait mate fish attractant, which I really don't use that much. Um, that stuff's pretty smelly. Some smelly stuff, but the fish like it. Um, but the mustad hooks, these are your size two treble hooks, which you can put on top waters, you can put on crankbaits, you can put on pretty much anything, um, which are really great as well, because most of the jerk baits and stuff that I buy, I, I wouldn't have this particular size, but most of them I buy, the hooks aren't the best, so that's why I like to switch them out a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you got some tips out of it. Please give the video a thumbs up, and um, please share this with your friends, and comment below if you could. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Production.